Today I'm going to take a look at the Amtec 101 piece screwdriver set. Okay, today I'll be taking a look at the Amtec 101 piece screwdriver and bit set, or ratchet screwdriver and bit set is what it actually is. And if you take a look at the cardboard, obviously I've had it out, but I've kept, I've put, just put it back on uh, for the sake of the video. You can see. Uh, it's got the old Amtec logo on there, Amtec uh, quality tools, I think a few of them do do that. L1350 for the uh, the stock code. I think a lot of companies call them uh, quality tools these days, don't they, whether they uh, always tend to hold up or whether they don't, so uh, you know they're not going to shoot themselves in a the foot, so that's what these were kind of uh, taking a look at videos all about. We take a look at the back. I will put um, uh, a little section on here with some text on there telling you exactly what bits are in there from off straight off the back. And um, like I say, I'm uh, I'm going to uh, I'm commentating over the video again because the uh, the camera is getting to be a pain now and it keeps on uh, just sticking to the one stereo channel. And uh, Movie Maker doesn't seem to, to uh, have a bounce to uh, audio to uh, mono, which would have sorted it out. You would have been able to have heard it nice and clearly over two speakers. So I'll uh, I'll just add a, add the audio in over the top. You can see it's got the old logo, the old Amtec logo. The new one is more softer. Uh, I think is it possibly um, a lowercase? I can't quite remember, but it's definitely a, a you know a, a softer looking uh, logo than that old one. The um, material there's no mention of chrome vanadium or CRV anywhere, which is unusual for uh, even a lot of these cheap tools nowadays. They do seem to like to um, push the uh, the issue when they've got chrome vanadium because it is the uh, you know the most popular um, thing when people come to look at for tools uh, and then being uh, actually able to hold up to anything people look for crown vanadium so it's kind of the buzzword even for the uh, you know the Chinese and the Taiwan uh, market and uh, anywhere else to use and stick all over their uh, equipment if they can but there's no uh, indication of that so it's possibly an indication that it's uh, a high carbon steel, there's no mention of S2 or Molly either, so uh, I would say it was a high carbon steel. It says in there you got a reversible ratchet with a comfort grip, um, or whether that turns out to actually be a comfort grip or not. Take a look at that. I will say that there's some sockets included in here. They don't seem to be the absolute best quality of uh, quarter-inch sockets, but uh, f you know, for anything that you're going to need to uh, fasten down in quarter-inch with a with a spinner or a driver, um, they should probably uh, suffice and be uh, adequate for that. Anything kind of like model model making, any any nuts like that, s screwing a propeller on, um, you know, a model plane, anything like that, you should should suffice to do the job. I bought this uh, set particularly just for the bits themselves, um, not not particularly the sockets because I've got a lot of better quality sockets in quarter inch drive, not really for the ratchet. Okay, so position this so we can better see uh, an all together view of the uh, the tool kit itself. Now uh, we can see that it's in a plastic vacuum form box with a window at the front. A carry handle formed into it at the top and with two plastic clasps that will uh, lock down and keep the uh, the little kit closed. We go in and take a look now at the actual screwdriver itself. So if we take a look at the actual screwdriver, um, I'll be honest it is very, very cheap looking to the eye and it is very cheap to the feel as well. Um, it is the switch type of uh, ratchet screwdriver which I do prefer as opposed to the uh, the spinning uh, 
parts of the handle that you can get which sometimes alter the uh, direction there's also a good chance with those switch types that you can keep it still um, dead like a normal screwdriver um, keep it completely still by putting the switch to the middle now they're um, ratchet screwdriver it does feel okay it does work it does do a job um, like I say you got your reverse switch which does both directions and like I say if you put it in the middle it will uh, keep your screwdriver solid like an ordinary screwdriver now that is how I actually use a ratchet screwdriver because a lot of them if you use them heavily um, the ratchets in these cheap kind of screw ratchet screwdrivers they you tend to damage them and they tend to be the whole screwdriver tends to be useless uh, pretty much overnight so if you use it like a, a normal screwdriver and lock the actual mechanism you tend to get more life out of it I do tend to use the ratchet mechanism if I don't have no power in my battery uh, from my drop from a drill driver if I'm having to um, put a uh, downward pressure and do a self tapping screw into a block of wood or something because then you don't have to release your uh, your hand all the while from the um, screwdriver body when you turn when you t t turn your motion with your hand backwards and forwards as you can see on the video uh, otherwise the motion for uh, turning a regular screw um, in or out is exactly the same as it is with a, you when using a ratchet screwdriver except that you just uh, loosen your fingers and uh, you know and, mo and, and, and grab the screwdriver in a different position otherwise the hand motion is exactly the same as you can show you here you're still moving your hand twisting your hand backwards and forth the only difference is that you just loose you have the handle on the on the uh, the back um, turn and grip it again so there's, there's not really much uh, ergonomic difference there but it does make a difference when you put in a lot of downward f force and you're forcing say a self tapping screw into a piece of wood um, not having to release the handle does make it uh, a good addition to uh, to have to your arsenal the um, like I say, the uh, the sockets in there will attach by the uh, adapter they've included, and the adapter is a long adapter uh, for the quarter inch sockets, not a usual smaller one. The uh, plasticky material is very hard, but um, I'm unsure as to whether it gives the opinion that it might be hollow, but then when you hit it and tap it, um, it gives the impression that it could actually be solid after all, all the way through you can see the seam where it's been joined together so um, and this rubber thing that they seem to have uh, coated it with it is softer than the actual plastic but you know it's it's very weird it just feels strange to hold um, it's not the best of designs I will be honest this triangle thing um, but it does it is functional the screwdriver does work they've gone with the magnetic um, well with the magnet in the bottom of the tip to hold the uh, the bits in place this isn't always the best uh, type of uh, ratchet screwdriver to have because the magnets sometimes fall out the glue that holds them in sometimes um, comes undone and the, the magnets can fall out when you start to uh, really abuse and use the screwdriver and you're left with uh, one that doesn't hold the bits as you can see there's some slight play not that much but some slight play if you uh, wiggle it backwards and forwards you can see the magnet there just inside the um, the end I'm not overly impressed with the uh, screwdriver to be honest with you like I say I'll mainly use it with a, a normal bit screwdriver that we see we see there in a, in a work environment just with the bits uh, but it is there and it is functional to a degree however long that ratchet mechanism lasts up so you can keep it in the box as well if you want and have it always have it as a backup I personally if, if you don't have a screwdriver and you're looking for a set with a ratchet screwdriver for home use it, it is functional it does work and you'll get a few jobs done with it um, straight away off the bat but it, it's not brilliant there are a lot better ones out there comfort wise you know more a lot better ergonomically than that 
Now the, uh, like I said, the sockets that they come with aren't brilliant. They're more likely to be pound shop sockets. Uh, you know, that kind of quality. Again, probably high carbon steel. You can see the actual finishing and the broaching at the back there where that hole is. Um, you know, it isn't it isn't brilliant. That looks razor thin there as well in the uh, inside the diameter of the um, that hole at the back. Um, but again, for anything that you're going to use a spinner or a nut driver on, in especially in quarter inch drive uh, range, anything that's going to be sufficiently tightened down with a nut driver, you know, they should be they should be fairly adequate uh, without breaking or anything like that. They just don't look particularly look very nice to look at, um, I'm afraid. But that's that's the uh, that's where we are with those. I don't particularly. I didn't particularly buy them for the sockets. Like I said, I got better quarter-inch sockets. But I suppose it's a bonus that they're there. Um, if you're working on something, can you come across uh, a nut a little bit further down that you might need to undo? You've always got that as well. The um, like I say, the finish on the uh, the female end on this 13 is a lot shallower than some of the uh, others but it just about manages to get, get away with being usable um, so there's a slight inconsistency there but like I say I haven't picked them up for the uh, for the sockets I've got there's, better, there's always better sockets for me to use than those there you've got a 4, a 5 and a 5.5 .5, but you don't have a 4.5 uh, so they only go a lot from 4 to 13 without a, without a 4.5 as well. So really they're only there just as an extra, a bonus extra. Now will be they will be fine for model purposes. Putting a a screw on a, on a, a, a screwing a a, tire, a wheel on um, a radar control car or a, a propeller on a plane, etc. The uh, the bits themselves are actually very very high high uh, highly well they're not high quality in terms of how they look they're not as flawless as some of the um, bits out there but they are tough I did try one uh, of the long PH2s in um, a drill driver and anybody that knows a drill driver does knock these bits about more than uh, a regular screwdriver does and there's n absolutely no markings whatsoever on the tip and they did the job perfectly that I was using them for in the week I did that specifically to test uh, these particular bits they held up fine this is the regular um, PH1 you can see that the um, the actual business end itself um, the actual tip that you use has been actually cut quite well uh, there are some out there that you can see that are cheap import bits and the um, it's all it's, you know it's not very accurate the way they've been cut but these are uh, relatively good the finish is okay but not brilliant it's not as flawless as some um, that I've got but um, you're not particularly too interested in the finish on the flat part of the uh, the bit that you stick in the um, the holder anyway you're more concerned about the uh, you know the business end being up to the job and uh, tough enough and relatively accurately cut these do seem to be uh, well made not the best ones I've ever seen I have got some import stuff that looks to be slightly higher quality and does um, perform well as well but perform adequately well because like I said I tested these in a drill and uh, they held up so so far with these I'd say the bits are uh, high quality the screwdriver is um, functional but not by no means brilliant the sockets are um, a below average uh, bonus to the kit okay so we put that back and we take a look at the uh, the long bits and the bit that I used the PH2 or Phillips 2 bit that I used in the drill during the week 
and this was the actual bit and you can see if you take a look at the tip um, that there really is no marking really there at all whatsoever no chewing or scraping which you usually see on um, a lot of these uh, bits that you use in your screwdrivers and your drills it's absolutely flawless still that's something I'm quite surprised about because even the uh, the free ones that you get in um, you know some it's probably imports still and the bits are imports but you know in some of these uh, you know well well uh, to do branded tool brands now um, they, they probably rebadge really them anyway like I say but y you use them for a, a week you know you've got the double ended long bits like that with your spay uh, flat and your Phillips on this back and you always generally have to use them for a little while have marks on them but there's there's no marks whatsoever the socket um, bit only comes in a long style you don't get a small um, socket quarter inch drive bit this spring loaded um, ball seems to work ok you see the back end that uh, tangs into the um, screwdriver It's all right. It doesn't seem that they never usually seem brilliant these um, bits, but they're okay. Also, it'll serve you want to stick it in your uh, in your drill as well for quarter inch sockets. The uh, something I noticed about the 13 millimeter, the drive isn't the uh, the deepest. You just about get away with it with using it. Um, very very shallow. The other sockets are uh, a lot deeper. They do, as you can see here. The other sockets do uh, tend to sit in a lot deeper than the 13. You can just about get away with using the 13, but only just. So it's a bit of inconsistency uh, between the sockets. Like I say, they're not brilliant quality anyway. That we know. We take a look at the uh, bits at the top. You've got a, a selection of Torx bits, T10 there, up to uh, T45. You've got some uh, Allen or hex uh, bits from 1.5 to 5 on the top, I think. You've got some more a little lower down, um, but uh, there we go. To the right, we've got 5.5 uh, and a 6. And then we've got some uh, some more Phillips, some square bits. Again, I said I didn't know what uh, you know what they were used for before. And some smaller square bits. I think they seem to just fill out their um, their screwdriver bit selections with them square bits. You got a metric and an imperial uh, flathead section of bits, although some of them. Um, are probably the same size bits either side. You've got um, nine thirty second, which is which is an equivalent to seven millimeters. Um, anyway, as you can see, if you put them both together, um, they're pretty much identical in size. Uh, they're probably exactly the same bit. I won't be surprised. Stuck in the uh, so you kind of get the exactly the same uh, bit there, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's a few others that uh, turn out to be equivalent as well um, in there. Um, so you kind of, I you know people don't really generally when they're using a flat-headed screwdriver if they come if they manage to come across uh, an antiquated uh, slot screw, they. Uh, they generally just look to see how big the uh, the slot is on that particular screw, and then they'll generally have a, a, a smaller sized slot, a bigger, a, a medium, and a bigger sized uh, slot, 
and uh, there's generally no indication as to whether it's a, a metric or um, an imperial flatted screwdriver anyway so uh, but you, you've got they've, they've laid them out that way you've also got another section of uh, smaller bits in uh, what's like a, um, a rubber jelly uh, style uh, holder that sits in the middle you've also got a an extension bit holder in there as well you've got some Phillips screw, screw bits in there some posi bits you've got some Torx bits and um, I think you might have uh, the odd hex bit there as well there, yeah, there at the uh, the front there so you've got a few spares in there now I was disappointed with the bit holder the bit holder does seem to be slightly wonky although I've got a few of these identical bit holders um, in, a, in, in a few things and some uh, other extension uh, bit holders uh, that would do the same job with a slightly different design that I could always just chuck in there in there on top anyway um, it, it is slightly wonky, I don't know if you can see that I've put it in the uh, screwdriver and just spin it around a little you can see the slight kink there it's like they've, they've forced that um, the bit into the uh, at the bottom into the holder and it's gone in uh, wonky it's not so bad when you when you're driving things by hand but when you put it in a power drill and you start getting a, a, a looping kind of uh, effect so again that's not brilliant but me I've got a, a lot of these that have come in power drills and other screwdrivers and things like that uh, that I can always pick one out of and uh, replace it with so it's not the end of the world to me but you know if you're buying the set from a uh, well, if you're buying this set, you might not. Yours might not be like that, but it's it's certainly a you know a mark a mark off, so to speak. Now, for me, I bought them just for the bits to go in use as a few extra uh, screwdrivers to chuck in to a, a work uh, bag this is the kind of thing when I was at Boxfold yeah, that they used to give me to uh, take apart they used to come along and say is the front end of a, a certain machine this is a um, technical manual for one that they had that was called Gladiator but um, you know various other machines and things like that they give me uh, give you this book and they say you have to take this apart for me clean this down oil this up grease it up and uh, put it back together again remove any uh, basic assembly and dismantle rebuild uh, parts of machines that weren't running properly because they'd built up with uh, gunk or glue and um, things were slightly out of alignment etc etc and you need to put this kind of thing together. So this would be the kind of thing in a work environment, maybe that I'll be using it for. Um, if I'm not working in, um, you know, like a, a, a machining kind of environment. So, uh, so far they seem uh, the bits seem tough enough. It was a decent enough gamble. Um, you know, for this kind of thing, the odd screw. There will be on some of these old machines a lot of uh, slot headed screws so the uh, the inclusion of the older uh, slot heads will actually come in useful for these kind of uh, industrial machinery and engineering uh, kind of machinery and they do see I'm pleased that they are tough enough um, that was basically what I bought them for the gamble uh, did pay off for a few quid uh, for me there for the people buying them, um, you got a functional. Well, like I said, you got a functional uh, screwdriver, but it's not brilliant at all. By no means, the bits are brilliant for the price, with the odd indiscretion being the uh, being the bit holder. Um, you know, it should be fine for any of this kind of uh, maintenance stuff. What I, what I had to do, you can see there, and uh, 
this was uh, a book, a, a technical manual I was left with when the uh, the company did uh, shut down uh, kind of all of a sudden. And uh, so if anybody from Box Valley does want that, uh, contact me. <laughs> you can have it back. Uh, the company did uh, close down uh, uh, all of a sudden and I was kind of left with that. Um, gladiator. But... Uh, yeah, that's part of the kind of the thing what I used to uh, do when I was there anyway at Boxfoldia. But um, I was originally took on there to uh, take over uh, from one of the maintenance and uh, engineering room blokes when they retired. But they seemed to hang on and hang on, so uh, they took me on um, as a well as a machine minder. They took me on without to pay me uh, more money because of uh, what job I was promised. But the uh, that to put, to put me down in the gluing uh, section. They used to bring me parts of machinery to uh, take apart in the end. Um, but this uh, functional, you could keep it in the packet. I myself, I'm going to use the bits with a different uh, with a different bit driver, a static bit driver. But um, yeah, it might grow on you as you uh, as you go along. But I'm not keen on them magnets. Obviously, with the magnets. I can't use this for uh, computer maintenance work either because uh, you're not supposed to use magnetic tools because they can damage the um, the uh, the way the information is stored on things like hard drive etc so uh, they can disrupt that so that would uh, rule that screwdriver out as being useless for that I personally prefer the ones with the band across the top with the ball bearing in it um, as I'm pointing out there, but um, they do work to a degree. But like I say, the magnets tend to fall out. Um, so you've either because you've got there, the magnet will probably fall out. The uh, the ratchet might fail on you if you're using it every day in a locker maintenance situation. Um, that's why I'm just going to use a normal, regular bit screwdriver with it. But it's certainly functional. It works. It's certainly not the best though, it's definitely not the best cheap one either that I've, uh, that I've picked up. But uh, sometimes the Amtec stuff comes with a three year uh, warranty, I think most of their new, newer stuff does. But seems as this had a whole, an old um, sticker on it, it might be that this hasn't, but you can always check back their, uh, their website to see if, if that's the case for this particular item or not, if they still have a three year warranty on it. Um, I personally say, so the, 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 this is another uh, branded um, bit from a you know imported bit from an, another company. You can say that's a, a really good quality bit on there, and it is. Although the finish might not be uh, exactly as good, it's it's certainly um, there or thereabouts um, to that. So uh, the bits get a thumbs up for me, especially for the price in strength and durability. The screwdriver, um, no frills. It does the functional, does the job. A uh, bit of a dodgy design, um, but uh, it, it, as it comes, it works. Um, don't know for how long for. The sockets, just an added bonus. Pretty poor, pretty poor quality of the sockets. Um, but all in all, for um, obviously the bit holder was a bit uh, skew if as well. All in all, for seven quid, I suppose it's good value, even just for the for the decent quality sockets. I was surprised at not one mark at all in it being used in a drill to drill screws in. 